Oh yeah, thank you. That's lovely to see. Oh my goodness, I almost feel bad. Almost. <laughs> I do love my control decks, man. Let's play it here. Wow, traps is so deadly. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another deck guide. For today, I've put together an anti-control deck. In particular, this is to work best against Sea Hill, that um, sword that got a buff recently, this card here. So I've got a lot of friends in Gwent who have been complaining that it's been difficult for them to verse this Sea Hill deck, especially the Patrocidal Fury Skelliger version. So this deck has been intended with a purpose to counter that specifically. But generally speaking, it will do good against any kind of decks uh, which do damage, seizing, um, resetting, because we're playing traps and over a long round three, we negate a lot of that kind of value. So it is a traps deck. The leader ability that we're using is Deadeye Ambush. The order is that we get to spawn an Elven Deadeye in an allied row. This is an Elven Deadeye that you see here. We've got three charges of this. You can really just look to use leader to help get you round control because that's very important when playing this deck. We want to play this deck across two rounds. You play it round one, past round two, and you just go into a long round three, playing out all your artifacts. Um, so you can use it in that sense. Also, you can use it just as extra points at the end of the match. Um, maybe you got Yaven at the end of a match or Isengrim still in your hand and you can look to synergize leader at that time as, as your final play, um, round three. The stratagem that we're using is Anshe Saber. So we're getting Squirtle Neophyte from that and this allows for a very quick and high tempo activation of scenario card when we're going first because that's what we want to do round one we want to play feign death out click stratagem we thin out eleran right away and avoid losing value to heat wave for example so it gives us quick thinning quick points what i'm going to do is run you through this list bottom up and explain how best to play each card that you see in this deck and when to play it during a match so all these bronze elf units that you guys see in this list down here, we want to go ahead and commit them round one with scenario just to help get round control. We've got two bomber units, damage two random enemy units by two. The Nostil's Commando, it's just a boosting engine. We are practically playing all elf units when looking to commit the Commando in round one. So this is a really nice bronze card to play first thing is as one of the activators into scenario keep in mind the boosting of commando can get switched off um if we play fisher king round one which is kind of what we're looking to do but what i recommend is that you play fisher king um like maybe second last turn of round one or on your last turn okay when it looks like you're going to get round control that's when you commit fisher king because it does turn off our engine units and fish kinks to provide some consistency but i'm going to get to that in a second so yeah go for double commando as early as you can you always want to play your engines early into a round to get that boosting or damage value perhaps if you're playing sword master um damage unit by one order melee so it's a melee roadlock card usually i like to open up scenario with this because it's always good to have extra control on the board and it's basically going to have a cooldown of one because we are playing a lot of elf units. Whenever you play an elf unit, decrease cooldown by one. So it's a one point of damage per turn engine for us. We're playing double bowman, damage an enemy unit by one for each row that separates it from this unit. Basically what you want to do then is play bowman range row and you're going to look to attack your opponent's unit that's on the range row. That's the best way to play this. For some control, I've got spores in here. So like I said, I've kind of built this deck, keeping in mind to beat that Patrol Subtle Fury list. 
and you could keep spores with you against that list because they do play king brand and brand gets a pretty big boost in that deck with all the excessive damage they're doing so it just resets a boost of a unit then we're getting into our traps here incinerating trap with all of the traps that you see best case scenario is that you save them for a long round three and you play them out then you don't really want to commit traps round one. I'd rather you guys commit Yaven and Isengrim and your bronze units and scenario, Fisher King, that kind of stuff. So we're looking to leave it on the ambush most of the time, most of these traps. Damage the next unit your opponent plays on their side by five. So usually going into round three, these are the kind of traps you want to first open up with, incinerating traps nice and slow to get into it. Crushing Trap is a trap you kind of want to play um, towards the end of a match. Obviously, when your opponent's got heaps of units um, on their rows, and we're leaving it on the ambush timer. Damage all enemy units on the row with the most units by two. Okay, so keep that in mind. If we're springing, we're doing one point of damage to each unit on a row of our choice. Fisher King, play this round one. Round two on the pass, perhaps. Move any card from your deck to the top. It's just to provide consistency. And the kind of cards you'd like to go for with Fisher King would be like Eldane, Sabretooth Tiger, any number of your trap cards, Hattori, stuff like that. Pitfall Trap. Playing it on the spring isn't too bad. If there's one unit of your opponents on the board and you do want to kill it off initially, spring would do six points of damage to it basically in that case but if you know your opponent's deck well you can leave it on the ambush and um, it can split damage equal to the provision cost of a card played uh, by the opponent between all enemy units yeah even damage an enemy unit by the number of elf units in this row so we kind of want to row stack a bit in this deck for Yaven. Keep it in mind, Yaven's pretty consistent because you could play him at the end of a match, you could play him round one, but use him for getting round control round one. Damage an enemy unit by a number of elf units in the row. So just have a think about where you're spacing your units out and calculate the damage accordingly, right? Serpent Trap. Spring could be really good sometimes. Um, if your opponent plays a unit on the board and it's the only unit and it's something good and you want to get it out of there, like a defender, you could just play Serpent Trap first thing and destroy the enemy unit with the lowest power. Obviously, if there's only one unit, it'll destroy that. Ambush can be really good if your opponent's got some higher powered stuff and you know they're going to be playing specials out during the round, then you could leave it for Ambush because it's just going to destroy the unit with the highest power at that time. Eleren, at the end of your turn, if you control five or more elves, summon this unit from your deck to your melee row. Once again, row space, keep it in mind. We need row space for Eleren. But basically what happens is, if we're going first, Eleren gets thinned out to the melee row instantaneously. So you don't really have to calculate that. It would just be um, perhaps if we're going second i think and if you row stack too much maybe you might not get room but this gives our deck some consistency and tempo isn't grim is just to help to secure round control round one but once again plays pretty good at the end of round three boost all other allied elf units by one whenever you play an elf boost self by one hattori is just to create and play a trap card from our starting deck so you're going to get a selection of three traps. Usually you get a good selection. You're usually going to see Serpent Trap in there, which is quite nice to go for typically. Maybe you want to go for Pitfall, Crushing Trap, whatever you think is good. Um, you could use Hattori round one if you need a reach for round control, but try to save him round three. Sabretooth Tiger, it just gives us some safe points that can't be interacted with if your opponent's doing control and damage. They could get rid of it if they've got heat wave that's one way they could answer it um basically it's a unit it transforms into an artifact and if your opponent has a unit on their side of the board that's alone on its row when it comes back to our turn Sabretooth tiger will damage it by two points so good thing about tiger in a traps deck 
is that it encourages row stacking and then that will make our crushing trap better later because obviously your opponent's going to row stack to avoid damage from this right so you'd usually open up into round three by playing this card out avalok sage consistency card how i like you guys to play this is use this to get scenario card from deck play this round one because it just gives us consistency and thinning play an artifact from your deck so we're going for a scenario but we've got a lot of different options you can go for a trap card too if you like but usually you want to play this first move of the match um playing scenario out eldane will be towards the end of a match played depending on how your hand looks and what he's going to do is just transform all of our traps into this token unit that you see here and just provides for a nice point swing neuromancy is just a consistency card um you you know you could spread around and go royal decree but i just felt consistency wise this feels good to have a neuromancy so yeah Basically, we get to play any card from our deck twice. So, it's good to have a Nero because maybe sometimes you don't get Avalux Sage. And if you get a Nero, it could still help you search for Feign Death. And then Feign Death, like I said, we're just playing this over um, round one. This is a first round play for us to get round control. Lots of tempo, lots of points. And... We're just getting these cards that you see here spawned and played out. Venos Hills Commando, we get token units, and Waylay is played. Okay, so now I'm just going to explain how to execute the strategy for this deck most optimally. So if we're going first, best thing to do is you play Avalok Sage on the range drew, getting Feign Death out. You click Stratagem. Um, that will thin out Eleron. From there, look to play your engine elves first out. Then you can play your bowmen's bombers. Uh, play Fisher King towards the end of round one or round two on the pass if you can. We want to go for a long round three with this deck. You can commit Yaven and Isengrim just to ensure round control, but if not, saving them is fine. And then over a long round three, you're going to play all your trap cards out and according to you know if you've got any more units left you're going to time playing eldane towards the end of a match and just you know spend all your leader at that time and hopefully it gets you a lot of victories please share your feedback down below and thanks for your support oh yes yes this is it this is it man this is it i'm so pumped all right come on this is gonna be it right Let's do it. Mm -hmm. If they're playing King Brand, Spores is kind of good still, but anyway. Uh, what do we want? We want maybe Yaven. No. Man, all I gotta do is ask for the card. Just ask and you get it. Man, did you guys see that? I said, can I get a Yaven? What happened? There's, that's that's what happens when people say KG's got magic. Now you know what they're talking about. Um, I think the best way to open up is... Maybe we just go like Avalux Age. Avalux Age into Scenario. Yes, at last. I want to verse the most ruthless control deck possible. To prove to you, I have the answer. I'll prove it to you. We will take back what was stolen. I hope it's the list. <laughs> Paid actor doesn't work. <laughs> Ah, oh, you guys are crack ups, man. Honestly. Um. Okay. So we want to get rid of this, yeah. No, 
Ellerin has shown us the way to win. You, you guys got no idea how excited I am for this match because all my dear friends are telling me, KG, what do we do? How do we verse it? How do we beat it? I hope this is it. Come on, show me Seahill. I love versing Seahill decks. It's my favorite. Absolute favorite thing to do in the world. Swords I smile at, weapons laugh to scorn. Last save for Brand, you think? Most likely. Uh, well, they play it kind of different sometimes. Yeah, we're definitely getting around control, man. Come on now. It's happening. Get that out of the way. Get that out of the way. Yes, yes. Good, good. Um, maybe it's not that deck. I hope it is. I hope it is a Sea Hill deck. Maybe it's not. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. So they're gonna start doing it now. Where in the world did they get all those points from so quick? Hmm. Well... Yeah, I could still do this. We have to win round control. I cannot give up. Well, hold on a second. They want a long round too, don't they? Maybe they'd bleed me if they know I'm traps. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. I'm not giving you... No. Actually, that's right, it had zeal. Fisher King? Anyway, our engines are dead. Well, the boosting engine anyway. Yeah, let's get some consistency. Long round for Sea Hill. It's it's not like the ones that I've been seeing, but it is a Sea Hill deck. Um So I could play Yaven now. Lionheart's variant? Really? But they didn't... They didn't really do anything. Like, we didn't see it. They... I don't understand. They spent leader. I don't know, man. Like, we didn't see the um, Siren get killed. Bronze card come out. We didn't see that kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay. Not sure about this version. I want to verse... I think there's another one which is like even more difficult to verse than this, unless the player is not uh, very experienced. Yeah, we'll just get along around three. Shy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got Pella to um, go for Kusha into Arnulf. 
That's how they play it. I think they're playing leader out of habit because that's what a lot of um like the Seahill decks they play leader round one and maybe they've seen that and they're just doing it out of habit, probably. They think like that's the right sequencing of play to take. Yeah, I think it's a good hand, man. Alright, let's do it. Your English is bad. Don't worry, we'll understand each other somehow. Positivity is a universal language. Yes, very nice. Probably not experienced. They usually forfeit when I go into these long rounds, to be honest, like this. That's what usually happens. Yeah, that's true, Jay. Oh, we're getting good value. Yeah. It's very good. Um, maybe I don't spring? Okay, no worries 12. So there's a lot of different versions of this, huh? Man, Sabretooth Tiger cleaning up. Yo, check it out, right? They've put the Siren there. They could go Sea Heal onto that. Sea Heal's a special. So what we could do is play um, Serpent Trap now and get a 8 point kill. Am I right? What do you guys think? Talk to me, baby. Talk to me. Kill your own unit with a leader? Alright, we're gonna do this. I think we kill um, the Witcher. We're gonna come around to it. Why are they playing it like that? They don't want to roast that because of crushing trap, is it? go women children elders it's good well it's not the deck we thought it was hey I wanted it to be the crazy hardcore Sea Hill deck that no one wants to verse. I wanted the toughest challenge. Oh, what's Sea Hill? They didn't get it the whole match? What? <laughs> oh, dude. So it was Sea Hill. I'm <laughs> very confused, man. I was so confused, dude. I'm seeing like a leader committed everything. <laughs> like, it didn't get played. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing my ass off.
Yeah, Sabertooth's doing great, man. <laughs> Drink the opponent's straw. This is rank one. Oh my. We are getting some sick value, man. Well, this is Crushing Trap. Crushing Trap's weak. Um, maybe I'll just go Pitfall. Pitfall could be good now. Ah, we've got a ton of points here. Nah, they're not coming back. Pitfall's gonna wipe the board probably. Not yet. I can't believe that survived. These trees will be your graves. Nice. Ah, easy, man. No chance. Uh, I was gonna GG. Anyway, well played, my friend. Well played. play it like this usually i like to go avalok sage to get scenario but whatever we'll do it like this very nice how are you long time no see <laughs> Thanks for the match early, I appreciate it. It was a lot of fun. Very nice to see Corrupted Flaminica after so long. Swords I smile at, weapons laugh to scorn. Um, I think that's the one I'm talking about. I think it's is it his deck? I've seen a few different variations. But uh, it's, it's pretty devastating. It's a very devastating deck, that one. It is. I could definitely see people's issues in this meta, even though it's early on. I'm pretty sure that's meta, the way it's looking. I could go Yaven. Wait, do I want to save? Like, we're way ahead on points, man. I probably don't need to do that. Probably save my better stuff. Let us sing the song of steel. I was thinking of killing it with Yaven. Maybe we just play bronzes. Mutants Maker. Mm-hmm. I mean, this should get me around control. We're up crazy on points here. Till then, don't budge. You're round three? Yeah, bricked hard. Well, it's more of a meme deck you're playing, you know? Um, yeah, we just pass. Xeros, what's up? Burst out laughing. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Yep, exactly. That's how it works, Tommy. Yeah. 
all the tricks. So yeah, let's just look for traps. Yeah, great. Hmm. I could even a Nero into Fisher King. What do we want on top? Probably, uh, well... Yeah, probably that. Meme Gwent life is a better life. <laughs> right on. It's good to have fun, isn't it? But when you can win and have fun, that's even better. Alright, we just pass. First time you catch my live stream? Really? I think I've seen you before. Are you sure you're not forgetting? Shall I jog your memory? That's very smart if you played it like that, Deathloaf. Man's got the I like that. <laughs> if you've got the coin. Is this a refined version of the trap deck you were very recently doing? Um, I've put out so many decks, I'm not sure what deck you're referring to. Like, how long ago are you talking? I've definitely made one similar to this. The list that I put out um, recently was Gord and Scenario Round 1. It might look similar to you. I, don't, I can't remember if I did a traps list like this recently. But anyway, this is an adjusted um, list. It's not identical to others, but it'll look very similar. Because your boy's been playing the game so long and I built so many decks. Um Give me another trap. That's it. That's all you gotta do, you just gotta ask. Could be you were drunk. <laughs> in the oh in the last few days? No. Not in the last few days. I did a uh, very heavy control list with specials in the last few days. It, it looks like this. Like it's got elf units and everything, but it's not a trap deck. So crushing traps should do really good here. I've uh, been playing Gwent for like a few years now, maybe over two, over two years I think. Around two years I think. I'm not sure exactly. I'm not like a beta player or anything like that. I just found it after playing um, The Witcher Wild Hunt, The Witcher 3, and then got into it. So, do I want to get rid of that? Maybe we'd do it that way. And now we'll just play our traps. Because it could bring stuff back. Gwent is too complicated. I understand. Oh, I'm going to go Serpent Trap. Okay, you do not like that. That's very good. That was a fantastic counter. Before Master Mirror dropped. <laughs> it was different back then, wasn't it? All the metas. Yeah, yeah. It changes a lot sometimes, doesn't it? 
Well, in this meta, it just looks like it's going to get crazy control heavy with all the sword buffs. Yeah, that's true, Bode. That one. It probably is that one. That's what I was explaining as well. That was a pretty good kill for us. I think Pitfall could play good now. On and off for a year? Right, right. I've never dropped Gwent since I started playing it. I don't know, I just got crazy hooked on it, man. My brother introduced it to me. He was like, you should check this game out. It was back when I was doing uni and I had no time. It was bugging me for ages. And then when I graduated uni, I had time. And I just, I never stopped playing ever since. It's, I don't know. It's crazy. And then I got into content creating and met all these people in the community. ST movement, yeah, it's great. It's quite deadly, yep. It's pretty good tempo. You fear me, I sense it, I smell it. Mm-hmm. Maybe we do this while we can. Hopefully we kill the eight. <laughs> Thanks, Bo. <laughs> A mental block. That's all good. I knew you were referring to that shoe. Thanks, Chief. The king with the cam. Forest, what's up, my friend? Seen any monsters in the forest lately? Tell me about them. Have you spotted a lesson lately? Yep, good, good. Um, well, we've got to play L Day next. So that's, it'll be this, right? I think this is going to be really good. Should be very good now. Yep. That one, he venerates not the fire. Yes, but ask. Yeah, I got some old back injuries. Sometimes I get like stiff neck. I crack my neck a lot. Oh yeah. Thank you. That's lovely to see. Oh my goodness. I almost feel bad. Almost. <laughs> I do love my control decks, man. Play it here. Wow, traps is so deadly. I just want to verse Sea Hill. Give me the toughest Sea Hill deck. Give me Patricidal Fury. Play Arnolf twice. Do all that crazy banana stuff on me. I just want to get that match. Wow. Well done. If you kill the unit with Sea Hill, but you don't have a bronze card in your hand, I don't think it thins then, right? I haven't. Um, let me see. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay, whatever. Let's go. Massive tempo, here we come. Oh, 
Thank you so much for the follow, really appreciate that. You're an absolute legend for supporting me. We shall drive the ape -man into the sea. Makes you keep your bronzes in hand. <laughs> it's a great thinning tool for them too. KJ got a new PC coming in today too. Ah, congrats. Well done. That's awesome, man. Really happy for you. Come on, dude. Give me a better target than that. I'd still play this now. Whatever. Hello, a new mic. Ah, I've got the same mic. <laughs> you mean since my laptop screwed up? I had, I had some mic issues then. It's true. I hope it sounds good now. Thanks, my pleasure to study late night. You're a legend, Dougie. Thanks for your support, man. Honestly, you're too kind. So, with Fisher King, we're just playing it late because obviously we're playing these commando boosting units. If we play this now, we lose value. So, this is a thinning tool, but you just play it late round one. It might be worth going Hattori into crushing traps bring in it just to get rid of this pitfall's not bad either i probably should have clicked that first yep good sound different from youtube Yeah, well, you know, when my PC died, I had a lot of technical difficulties to work through, so I did my best. But I'm back to my regular setup now. So, yeah. I was using my headset mic when my PC died. The one that you see I'm wearing now. But I have a different mic attached to my table here. Thank you for the follow, really appreciate that, my friend. So we just pass, really. Just passing, going into a long round. Yeah, that's true, Dergy. Alright. We await the signal. Till then, don't budge. Um it's the same PC just fixed. So what happened is the power supply to my PC completely died. That's why I wouldn't turn on at all. And yeah. Then when I got my PC back, I had an issue with a monitor. The monitor didn't want to connect to my PC. <laughs> I had a lot of different things going on. But yeah, I'm back to normal now. So we're just looking for a lot of traps now over a long round three. Give me all my traps, baby. Come on. Yes, yes. I think spores might still be good to keep. Isengrim's nice. And we've got everything really here, don't we? Uh, we're not really sure our Serpent Trap's gonna play. I don't think it plays good on the spring. I think we just keep it. So that will still get rid of them, I believe. Depends what they're going to do here. 
<laughs> What's up, Boat? How are you? <laughs> you hype me up too much, man. <laughs> what an introduction, honestly. Um, we still get rid of the drones. It's fine. Line pocket sea hill, really? I've got no idea. Um, I made the bounties deck, but I haven't really looked at it now. This patch, no. I might come around to it. It might be a good idea to go serpent trap now, just while they're playing specials. Do I have another crashing trap? Oh, but I I do have another. Maybe I leave it late. Thanks, Bird. Really appreciate it. I'm doing good things. How about yourself? Really good to see you again after such a long time, man. Yeah, I should go Crushing Trap now. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much for the kind words, Bird. Much love back to you. So good to me. I think we get a clean kill on melee row, unless they're boosting. Ah, okay. Right, well, it's still a lot of damage. You're welcome. Yes, PC was in quarantine. <laughs> it got sick. <laughs> the PC got infected, guys. That's a pretty good pitfall. Nice. Great. That was pretty nice. Make Chimera a lot worse. Plays a Glusty. Um, are they going to play a special? Spores here. It's not bad. Traps deck. Yeah, pretty much. It's an anti sea hill deck that I've built. I could leave it there. Oh, uh, they forfeit. They must have had specials left in hand. I was thinking of leaving it even. Just to make them discard. 